Let us take the numerical on bars of composite sections. Three equidistant vertical roads, each of 20 mm diameter, support a load of 25 kN in the same plane as shown in figure. Initially, all the roads are adjusted to share the load equally. Neglecting any chance of buckling and taking Young's modulus of elasticity for steel as 205 GPa and for copper 100 GPa, we have to determine the final stresses when a further load of 20 kN is added. So, in this question, we have given that there are three roads and two are of same material, steel, and one is of copper. And we have applied a load of 25 kN to this system. Now, initially, the load of 25 kN is equally shared by three bars. But later on, uh, we have applied a 20 kN extra, kN node extra, and this will be shared according to the uh, properties of the material. And we have to find out the final stresses induced in steel and copper bar. So let us solve this problem. In this numerical, we are given with a composite section like this. We have two steel bars. Uh, steel rods are there, one is uh, of this length uh, 3.6 meter, another is of same length 3.6 meter and at the center there is a copper bar of length 2.8 meter and all are equidistant to each other, right. So you can see here with figure that whatever stress will develop in steel, same stress will develop in uh, this, this steel because both are of same diameter 20 mm and of same length 3.6 meter, right. One thing is clear. Right, and it says that initially, initially a 25 kilonewton of load is applied, and uh, the system was arranged in such a way that the equal the load is distributed equally in steel, copper, and steel. So this 25 kilonewton is divided into three parts, 25 by 3, and this is equally divided by uh, equally shared by three uh, rods, right? So stress will be developed due to this 25 kN, so some initial stress will be developed due to this 25 kN in, in both the steel bars and also in copper rod. Now after that it is saying that 20 kN load is applied, after that 20 kN load is applied, now 20 kN load will be shared in such a way that depending on the modulus of elasticity, length, dia and other things of this material, right. So, and we have given the modulus of elasticity of both the materials. We have to find out there was some initial stress developed. After uh, applying 20 kN, some more stress will be developed. What will be the final uh, load developed in steel and final load, uh, final stress developed in steel and what is the final stress developed in copper? This we have to show. So here in composite section, we have studied in theory that uh, some initially there are some load and later on the load will be divided uh, in steel and copper depending on their material properties. But initially the load is shared equally. So in initial condition we can write that the load shared initially, initially the load shared I am writing PIS initially load shared by steel that should be equal to load shared by copper copper in initial condition and also there is another steel bar so that is also is there and that should be equal to one third of 25 right so total load applied divided by 3 because there are 3 roads are there and they are saying that the load is shared equally right and due to these when the load is shared equally the stress will be developed some initial stress will be developed and that will be same because dia is same so initial stress initial stress developed in each bar is sigma i is load which is 25 by 3 multiplied by area pi by 4 d square pi by 4 d square is 20 20 square right so this is the initial stress developed in the material 
right so when you solve it i am taking here mm square millimeter square when you take the millimeter square the answer will come in mega pascal because millimeter square is 10 power minus 6 and when it will come in numerator it will become 10 power 6 so the answer will become mega pascal so whatever answer will come that will be in mega pascal so i am writing here the initial stress developed in the material sigma i is solve it this 25 by 3 this is a force and this is in kilonewton so here we have to multiply it by 1000 also to remove the kilo kilo sign so 25000 divided by area or uh, p upon area and it is one third because each is sharing one third so this stress sigma i will be developed in every material right and this will come out to be 26.53 26.53 mega pascal this is the initial stress developed in each bar this we will use later on find for finding the final stresses right so initially we have find out that this is the stress developed in each bar so one part is completed right that initial stress is we have obtained right now now second part that we have applied now 20 kN force 20 kN force so this is now 20 kN and in composite section we have studied that this 20 kN load this 20 kN load will be some of the load will be shared by the steel there are two two steels are there so equally shared because both are of same length and same dia plus some of the load will be shared by copper this we have already studied in our composite section that some of the load shares will be equal to total load so this is equation number one and and we can convert it into stress so we can write the stress 2 multiplied by stress in multiplied by area sigma s plus pc sigma c multiplied by area that will be equal to total load p and that will come out to be 2 sigma s plus sigma c should be equal to load upon area what is load force applied is 20 and area is pi by 4 d square area is pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 d square is 20 square so answer will come in mega pascal so we have obtained a relation between 2 sigma s plus sigma c by using this equation using one equation so 2 sigma s plus sigma c will be come out to be solve it 20,000 divided by area pi by 4 d square and we are keeping it mm so whatever answer will come that will mean mega pascal so this is not answer this will become an equation in mega pascal right and you will get 63.66 by solving this 63.66 so this is our one equation will which will be used to find out stresses so one equation is there this is two equation and the value come out to be in mega pascal because we are using millimeter square here area we are using in millimeter square so whatever answer will come that will mean mega pascal so we have obtained this relation this is a very useful equation now compatibility equation what is compatibility equation that when we are applying some load the deformation in both the bars will be same so what is deformation what is deformation we already know the formula for deformation that is delta l is equal to pl upon ae or sigma l upon e so deformation is given by pl upon ae and force upon area is stress sigma l upon e so this is our deformation this formula should be remembered sigma l upon e so deformation you can take any two two bars let us take copper and one of the steel bar and deformation will be same so deformation in steel must be equal to deformation in copper because of the composite section because this is a composite section So this should be same so we can write sigma l sigma in steel l of steel upon e of steel 
must be equal to sigma of copper L of copper by E of copper. So that should be equal to sigma S. We have to find out L of steel. Steel. Length of steel is bigger 3.6 3.6 divided by E. E of steel. E of steel is 205 205 and that should be equal to sigma C multiply length of copper. Length of copper is shorter 2.8 meter divided by E. E of copper. E of copper is 100, 100 gigapascal. We are not converting into Pascal because not required because uh, this will uh, the gigapascal and gigapascal will cancel out, meter and meter will cancel out and we will get a relation between sigma s and sigma c. So there will be a relation between sigma s and sigma c that sigma c will be equal to sigma c you will get 0 0.627 0 0.627 sigma s. So this is another equation for finding the sigma s and sigma c. So two unknowns, two stresses are unknowns, sigma s and sigma c and we have obtained two equations. So solve two and three and you will get the stresses. So solve, solve the equation two and three and you will get the stresses. It can be easily solved. Sigma s and sigma c is there. Also sigma s and sigma c is here. So you will get stress in steel as the stress in steel will be given by 24.23 megapascal 24.23 megapascal and stress in copper stress in copper you will get 15.19 15.19 megapascal so what we have to find out basically final stresses final stresses and we have obtained these stresses due to 20 kN load this stress is are due to 20 kN load these are because of 20 kilo newton load right these are because of 20 kilo newton loads right but we have to find out the final stresses initially there was this stress in steel as well as copper finally we have got after 20 kilo newton load we have got this stress so we can add these two stresses both are compressive both are compressive this is also compressive and this is also compressive so we can add up these stresses and we get the final answer. So, so sigma s final sigma final in steel will be equal to sigma final in steel will be equal to sigma initial sigma initial plus sigma initial plus this sigma s which is obtained due to 20 kN. So this is due to 20 kN and this is due to 25 kN right. So this will be equal to sigma initial is 26.53. 26.53 plus uh, this 24.23 24.23 add these two stresses and you will get the final answer final answer of the um, final stress in the steel as 50.76 you can uh, add these things and you will get 50.76 mega pascal so this is the answer this is one answer Next is, next is finding the stress in copper. The initial stress was same in, uh, in uh, steel and copper 26.53. So we can write here. So in copper, final stress in copper will be equal to final stress in copper. We can find out now. This I have separated to find out the stress in uh, steel. Now we want to find out stress in copper. Stress in copper is initial stress in copper plus the stress due to 20 kN load and that will be equal to initial stress is 26.53 26.53 and later on we got this stress 15.19 15.19 add these two things and you will get the final stress in copper which will come out to be 41.72 that will come out to be 41.72 megapascal. So this is our final answer that this is the stress final stress in steel and this is the final stress in
Copper.